Hello coders, this is Jared with Renaissance Coders, and in this video we are going to create two new scripts for our simple scripting series. In our last video we created a script that updated the field of view of our camera if an object was a set distance away from the camera. Now in this video we are going to create two new scripts that update the field of view of our camera based on mouse input. I will go into why we are creating two scripts after we create the first script. Okay, so we don't have to update the scene for this video, so let's go ahead and create our first new script that we are going to call stepped camera zoom so we're going to right click create a C sharp script and just name it stepped camera zoom now let's go ahead and open up this script and get to work okay so this script is actually going to be fairly simple we actually only need one public variable so we're going to create a public float array that we can call our FOVs for field of views and we're going to set this equal to an initial array of like 45 30 and 15 here and we need two additional variables for this script we're going to need a camera that we can just call my camera and we are going to need an integer value that we can just call our fov pause and we can set this equal to zero and the fov pause is just going to contain the value of our current location in the array In our start function the first thing we need to do is say my camera is equal to get component type of camera and that's all we need for the start function now inside of our update function we are going to very simply say if input dot get mouse button down and pass in a zero for the left click and if we left click we want to call a function that I will just call zoom in below that if we're going to create another if statement that says if input dot get mouse button down again and we this time we're going to pass a one and this time we actually want to call a zoom out function okay so if we left click then we want to call zoom in if we right click then we want to call zoom out okay so let's go ahead and write out our zoom in and zoom out functions so i'm going to add those below my update function here just going to say void zoom in we don't need any parameters and below that say void zoom out Again, no parameters. Now, inside of our zoom in, we're going to create a quick if check to say if our FOV pause is greater than or equal to the FOVs dot length minus one, then we are going to set our FOV pause, just copy from our if statement here, set our FOV pause equal to FOVs dot length minus one. So all this is going to do is make sure that we can't overrun our array and so we can dodge those errors that pop up uh, quite frequently in Unity actually. So now we're going to create a quick else statement and else we're just going to increase our FOV pause. So FOV pause plus equals one. And after that, we just need to change the field of view of our camera so we, so we can say my camera dot field of view is equal to FOVs, FOV pause. Now we can actually go ahead and copy this and paste it into our zoom out function. We are going to have to change it up a little bit though. So we're going to change the first if statement to say if FOV pause is less than or equal to zero, then we are going to set our FOV pause equal to zero. And again, that's making sure that we can't go like below zero so we can't go beneath our array. Else we want to actually decrease our FOV pause here and finally just update the field of view like we did above. And that's all we really need inside of this function. So let's go ahead and actually save it now and we're gonna go back out to our scene here check the console doesn't look like we have any errors awesome let's click on our main camera and now let's just go ahead and disable the script that we currently have on there and add our stepped camera zoom function to it and we don't actually have to add any values to this you know it's gonna get everything set up by itself so now let's actually go ahead and test it so I'm gonna press play here and now when I left click, we can see that it zooms in. I can left click again and it zooms in even more. And if I continuously left click, it's not going to overrun our array just like we wanted. Now I can actually click and zoom out. And again, it just sort of quickly zooms out. Okay, so let's go ahead and stop this. And so some of you may have already realized why we're going to do a second script here. And I wanna do a second script to actually lerp the field of view changes to our camera because the way it's working right now is fine, but it's not as cool as it could be. So let's go ahead and create a new script here. So we're going to right click, create a C sharp script that we can just call our lerp camera zoom script. And now let's go ahead and open it up. Now to update the script, the first thing I'm actually gonna do is go ahead and copy everything from the stepped camera zoom script. So I'm just gonna copy that and paste it over 
our start and update functions. Okay, cool. And I actually need to add two additional variables up at the top. So I'm gonna add a public float for our speed, set that equal to like 2F initially. And I'm gonna add public bool. I'm gonna add two of these, a zoom in Boolean and a zoom out Boolean. Okay, so the first thing we're actually gonna do is actually remove this line from zoom in and from zoom out. So we're not gonna be updating our field of view like this anymore. Instead, what we're going to do is inside of our zoom out, we're gonna set zoom out the Boolean value equal to true. And inside of our zoom in function, we're going to set zoom in equal to true. Okay, cool. Now inside of our update function, we actually need to check those values. So we're, we're just gonna create if statements. So we're gonna say if zoom in is equal to true, then we're gonna say my camera dot field of view is equal to a math f dot lerp. We need to pass in our current field of view. So my camera dot field of view, and we need to pass in our FOV position here. So FOV pause, or excuse me, FOVs, FOV pause. And we're gonna pass in our speed times time dot delta time here. Okay, cool. Now we can actually just go ahead and copy this and duplicate it below and just change zoom in to zoom out now. Okay, now let's go ahead and save that really quickly. Let's go back out to our scene, make sure we didn't miss anything. Okay, it doesn't look like we did, awesome. So let's click on our main camera again, disable the stepped camera zoom script and drag in our lerp camera zoom script. And again, we don't have to mess with any values here because it sets itself up dynamically. So we're gonna go ahead and click play to test this new script out. Okay, so again, if I left click, we can see that the camera's field of view lerps to the new value and again, just lerps again. So, and I can actually lerp the zoom out as well and I can change the speed here. So let's update it to like 10, big drastic change and right click. And as we can see, it sort of zoomed in very quickly. Now, one thing you may have noticed, let's drop the speed back down to two and zoom in. Now, when I zoom in, it doesn't get quite too 30. So if I click on the field of view now and go to the right, it's set equal to 30.00002. So it's not getting exactly on 30, but it's getting really, really close. The other thing that you might have noticed is that zoom in and zoom out are never getting set to false, which actually will not throw an error here, but that that's not really a clean way of doing this. So let's go ahead and stop this now and let's go back to our script. So what we're actually gonna do is inside of our zoom in Boolean check, we're gonna add another if checks to say if math f dot approximately and we need to pass in our my camera dot field of view and we're gonna pass in our FOVs, FOV pause. And inside of this, if this is true, then we're going to set zoom in equal to false. Now, I don't know if you've seen the math f dot approximately function before. This is not a function that I, that I have actually seen other YouTubers cover, so I figured we should definitely cover it. And the reason why we're using math f dot approximately here is because our lerped field of view value will never actually equal the field of view that is set up in our array. So as you saw, when we lerp the field of view, it ends up being equal to like 30.00002 and not 30. So if we were to try and use the comparison operator of like equals equals there, then zoom in would never get set to false because those do not equal one another. So floating point values have a lot of precision to them, which makes comparing them a little more difficult, which is why we have to use this approximately function in order to do that. And again, we can actually just copy this and paste it into our zoom out now and just change zoom in here to zoom out and save it. And now if we go back out to our scene, we should be able to test it. And when I click, we should see it going to 30. It's going to get really, really close and then it will change. There it goes. It changed. So it got really, really close and then it changed. And again, if I click, it's going to get really, really close to 15 and then change once it gets really, really close. Boom. And I can zoom out. So there it goes. It's now increasing our field of view, getting close to 30 and it should change, there it goes. Okay, cool. So now this is working, it's changing the values of zoom in and zoom out, and we're actually lerping the field of view for our camera, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and stop this. Okay, coders, that is gonna do it for this video. In this video, we did two scripts for the price of one, so you're welcome for that. I have a few more ideas for scripts that we can add to this series, so we will be adding a few more scripts to this series. Please let us know if you have some functionality that you would like to see covered, and we will add some of those requests 
to this series. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.